Hello everybody, Onyx I here. Welcome back to the channel and to another episode of The Forest. So, we're about a day and a half or so away from a new update to the game. And um, I wanted to kind of show you a little bit of what I've been working on. Um, I need that bird. Sorry, birdie. I need the feathers. We've got to make some more arrows. Um, sorry about that. So as you'll see, I have built something. Um, there are tons of rocks on this island. I have to bring trees over, logs over from the mainland part of the island over there. So um, I decided I was going to start kind of playing around with some things. Um, this is kind of temporary right here. I don't, I don't think I'm going to use this. I was, and and I may. I actually was thinking about making an area up top, um, but I don't know. We'll see. So basically what I've done, since there's so many rocks available, um, I decided to make a stone wall building as opposed to um, logs. And so as you'll see, the stones don't really line up that great sometimes. They hang off a little bit. It's super hard to do. I'm, I'm probably going to have to rework some of this eventually. Um, it kind of looks like there's a few gaps here and there. So anyway, you know. I needed something a little bit better looking. Uh, I just didn't like the regular old hut thing. So this is what we got for right now. I may redo some uh, once the update comes out. And uh, speaking of when the update comes out, I think I'm also going to change the format of these videos a little bit when that happens. Um, rather than kind of talking about it like I do with... Um, you know, like I have been so far where I'm like, okay, guys, we're going to go do this, and I got to build this, and this is how this works, and this is how this works. I, I don't think I want to do this series that way any longer. Um, I think that I want to turn this into kind of a, I don't know, I guess a, a visual novel, so to speak. Like, a, I want to kind of take you guys on a journey of a father who is stranded on this island looking for his son putting up with these elements and the cannibals and things like that and and kind of take it more from a storytelling standpoint so this is going to be the last episode where i'll do it with this format uh for a little while i'm going to try it the other way and then i'd love to hear your feedback on uh, which one you prefer so um today the main thing is just to kind of give you a quick update on where that is um you know that kind of thing what what my thoughts are with that um i do need to find some food we are very hungry um we're also thirsty um so i'm going to come over here there's uh there's lizards and things like that over in this area get him get him gotcha um i really do hate killing the birds but it's necessary to get the things that we need like I was saying if you've been keeping up with the series then um, you know it's it's one of those things where it's it, it has a lot more potential than what I've been doing with it and so I want to try something and see if it works out uh, as well as I'm thinking it will so I hope that you guys will enjoy that new format but for today what we're going to be doing is doing some hunting you know we need food um i've kind of depleted my my stores of food over at the camp with all this building that i've been doing and i just haven't had time to uh to to get all the things that i've needed so that's what today's episode primarily is. I'm mainly recording it because the cannibals have been very active over here. So you're probably going to see a good little cannibal fight at some point in this episode. <laughs> if you don't, I'm going to be uh, very surprised because I have been fighting these things like crazy as I've been pulling logs from the main area over to the camp. Oh, there's another feather, yes. I've got to keep plenty of arrows. I have found that fire arrows are some of the best things to use against these cannibals because you can shoot them from a distance. Uh, they catch on fire and then uh, they usually die with just the one shot. So definitely want the fire arrows. 
but while we're out doing this hunting i know it's a little dull um it's not the most exciting thing in the world but i do want to take the time just to kind of tell everybody thank you for the support that you've shown um you know you guys have been leaving comments on the videos uh, a lot more often now and you know I, I feel like i'm getting to know some of you I, I feel like you guys are getting to know me and uh, i don't take that lightly um you know it's uh you guys have entrusted me to uh to be entertainment uh for you in a way and um and and you're kind of you know you're you're giving me that boost every time you post a comment or hit like on one of my videos you're giving me that i don't want to really call it self-esteem boost because um i mean i have a great self-esteem i'm not you know the the way people think about me doesn't make me not be able to sleep at night and things like that i don't i don't suffer from those types of things but but you know everybody likes to hear every now and then hey you know you're doing a good job or thank you or you know something like that people just like to hear that and i'm i'm no exception you know um i do like to know that uh that i'm accomplishing something I might better build a fire real quick and eat something before my little dude passes out here. But I, I, I don't think I want to do it here. I think I want to get back down to the beach. Um, mainly because I already have a fire kind of made down there. But also because I need to wash off and get this, uh, get this blood off of me so that it doesn't cause an infection. But, you know, as I was saying, you, you know, it does mean a lot to me when you guys comment on the videos. Um, you know, you, you've said some really great things. I've kind of had a couple of haters here and there, but, I mean, you know, that's that's to be expected with YouTube. Um, I definitely expected that. Um, I don't wear my feelings on my sleeve, and I'm not going to let anybody get me down anyway. So, haters can hate, and, you know, that's fine. Um the internet has to have its trolls right but those of you that have been sticking around and watching the videos um as i've been growing and learning and getting better at editing and things like that you know just thank you for sticking through it um i know you know the video quality started off a little rough my editing quality wasn't that great but uh, you know those of you that have stuck by me i do appreciate it um you know and and i think we're getting somewhere you know i think we're starting to accomplish some things um you know i'm, I'm really having a a great time well if i could pick up my rabbit but i'm having a great time doing this and uh and it's just been phenomenal to kind of get to know some of you and and to just hang out and, and have fun so i do want to start doing a little bit more online multiplayer type stuff with you guys um I, I'm trying to come up with some ideas on the types of things that the types of games that we can play um, I am trying to build up my my game library a little bit but it would be super awesome to uh, to just kind of hang out and have fun with you guys and I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to that kind of thing I think we've got enough food water is the biggest issue now oh there we go i told you we were going to see some didn't i told you um why are we Why is my guy not using the axe at the moment? Maybe I'm too thirsty to swing an axe? Guessing. Let's uh, do some berries. Drink some alcohol. Nothing like fighting cannibals when you're drunk. right all right so let's see if we can fight them now yes we can let's go get us some bones I don't mind fighting these things now I've kind of gotten over that um, 
they don't creep me out nearly as bad but boy they still will jump scare you from time to time you know the roughest part is when you don't know where they are like I know there were just two of them over here so where did they go where are they now They're going to top that hill screaming in a minute scare the crap out of us. There is a lizard I am going to get it to. Can't carry any more lizards. Alright, well that means we need to head back to camp. So we can go ahead and put this stuff on the uh, hanging rack, preserving rack. It never hurts to have food piled up on the preserving rack, that is for sure. I left my raft over here on this side. Take me in a little further than I normally do. A lot of times I'll just cross right over and hop out on the mainland here, but this time I came around a little bit. Mainly because I have that fire right there. But yeah, this um this game, guys, I mean, if you haven't tried it yet, I mean, I, I know you're just seeing limited little bits and pieces of it from me, but it's not that expensive on Steam right now. I think it's like 14 or $17 or something like that. I mean, if, if you're into the survival games and maybe a little bit of the horror genre, this is one that you really need to try out. I mean, this right here, now, I do have my graphic settings on high. Um... You know, that's what you're seeing here are high graphic settings. But I don't have any of the filters that they allow you to have. I, I don't have any of those in. I don't have any uh, graphical modifications in to the game. I, I think there may be some out there. This is, I mean, as beautiful as this is, this is the base game that you're seeing right here. This is it. There's, there's nothing fancy or, or different added. And uh, they've done a phenomenal job with it. Just an outstanding job. So definitely one that you may want to consider putting in your, uh, in your game library. If you're looking for something else to play, uh, I would suggest at least giving this one a shot. All right, so we got some more meat on the preserving rack. And you'll notice, I mean... I say I'm, I'm gonna tear this thing out here this this thing if I decide not to do the uh, upper level but you know I was compiling logs um, we're compiling sticks and rocks um, you know I think I'm full on these actually yeah but rocks just was the easiest thing to get and that's what you kind of got to figure out with this game is you know you can work yourself to death if I had tried to build all of this with logs, I'd have worked myself to death. Now, it took some time to pick up all these rocks and and all of that, but nowhere near the time it would have taken to cart trees from over there, over here. And you, I mean, you can kind of see where I've cut out little holes over there um, from where I was cutting uh, those at. So now that we've got a good little base camp set up here, I mean, I, I may I may do a few things here and there to it. Um, maybe hang some things on the walls. Um, I haven't figured out yet how to make windows in this. It doesn't look like you can because these are technically walls that I stacked on, stacked on top of each other. Uh, they're meant to be more like fences. Um, so there's, there's no windows in our hut or in our camp at the moment, but that's okay. Uh, we do have this though, which is a locking door. Um, so that will help keep the cannibals from just running up in here. Um, if at some point in the updates uh, they make it where they can come across the water right now they don't come across the water so we, this is our little safe haven over here but you never know what the developers are going to do so anyway I just wanted to the, I mean the main point of this video was to kind of give you an update on my thought process on where I wanted to go with this um, 
series other than just being a hey let's get in here and play this game i want to give you a little bit more entertainment value so i'm going to try some different things with it um be sure and comment to me let me know you know as we're doing this and i'm experimenting with some things give me some feedback so i kind of know if you guys are enjoying it or not i mean i like just playing the game so i can do it like i'm doing right now and still have a good time but i i'm here for you guys as well i want to have fun i want you to have fun i want you to enjoy the content that I'm putting out there for you so leave me some comments let me know what your thoughts are on maybe some of the things I could do with this series and and I'll kind of mesh those together with mine and see if I can come up with with something um, once again thank you so much for all the support uh, I, I the love that you've been showing is has been great and I'm, I just appreciate it like you wouldn't believe so I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here guys I know it's a little shorter than usual but it also doesn't have the action that the last ones have been having um, so thank you so much for being here thanks for watching be sure and hit that like button for me down there it helps me get noticed out there in the YouTube universe and if this is your first time here or maybe your second or third time here and you're toying around with the idea just go ahead and hit that subscribe button I'd love to have you as part of the family um, and you can come along on this journey of, of this youtube channel with us so thanks a lot have a great day guys and i'll see you all on the next video